Hi, George here, and today I'll be showing you how to quickly fix a photograph. Now, personally, I prefer doing a much longer approach on photographs, but sometimes you're in a hurry or it's not that critical, so you want a good, clean, fast fix for those. Now, a lot of people will say, you just go up here to the Enhance menu and hit Auto Smart Fix. That works, but it isn't the best way to do this. And before I show you my favorite way, if you want to get more information about how to use all of these, you'll find it in my training courses, either my video training course for photo expert limits, or if you want nice step-by-step -step written instructions on how to do all of these different things, then take a look at my photo coach for Photoshop elements. I'll put links for both of those at the top of the description. Let me now show you my favorite way to do this. Now, the first thing I always do is to go over here to the layers panel right hand side. If you don't see the layers panel, go up to window and you'll see layers right here or the F11 key, or you'll also see it right down here at the buttons bottom right corner. Okay, it's right click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose okay. This is just a safety because things like the auto fix aren't on adjustment layers. So you can't easily go back and fix things. So just in case you mess up, it's nice to have it on its own separate layer. Okay, here's what I like to do instead of using the enhance and auto fix right here. I prefer going over here to the quick menu and auto fix is right over here. And the reason why I like this one better, actually there's two reasons. One, go over here and we can do a before and after horizontals. Here's our before, here's our after. We can compare directly what the effect is. And then second, if you click on Smart Fix, this is just like clicking on the Smart Fix up in the Enhance menu. But notice now we have this little button right there. Click on that and we can now adjust our Smart Fix. So you can come in and then do adjustments. Now what Smart Fix does is it goes in and analyzes the exposure, the color, and the contrast and makes adjustments on all of those at one time. So now that I have this, I can come in here and adjust the Smart Fix right there. So by using the Quick Mode, it allows me those two options. One, I get to see my before and after, I can compare them directly. And two, I can come in here and adjust the amount with this slider control. So choose OK, it sets that in. Let's now go back over to Advanced and here's our new layer up here. Something else which happens when you're working in quick mode is it gives you a new layer. If you did this in advance, it just puts the effect right onto your background layer. So again, you have more safety in here. Let's just hide that. There's our before, here's our after, like that. I think it's better. Now we can tweak this with other tools if you're not exactly happy with this. And I think most of the time you want to do a little bit of tweaking. Most of these auto settings will get you close, but not necessarily exactly right on. So let's go ahead, we'll do some adjustments in here. And we'll do that with the enhance menu and we'll come down to adjust lighting. And let's do shadows and highlights right in here. It'll give you the auto setting. We can then come in and just tweak this. We can lighten our shadows up. We can darken our highlights down. I don't think we need that. We can adjust our mid-tone contrast. Notice less contrast and more contrast. And here's before and after, we can preview that. And the thing now is looking like a really nice picture. This way also gain more texture in the wall down here as well. And I think that helps to really improve the picture. Let's choose OK. Let's now take a look at this. Here's our before and here's our after. And I think that's a nice fast improvement. That's what we're going for here is just a fast improvement. Again, if you want to come in and take your time and do real careful adjustments, then I'd recommend using the layer menu and adjustment layers, use the levels, and maybe use the hue saturation, possibly adjust your color tone with the photo filter, and take your time with that and do some real careful adjustments. And you can make a perfectly adjusted picture, but that's not our aim here. Our goal here is a fast fix, and that's what we have right there. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, give the channel a like, also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm doing new videos for Photoshop Elements all the time. Make sure you check out my complete course for Photoshop Elements. Again, the link is right down there at the top of the description. And I'll see you next time.